Peter Gregson, I'm a cellist and a composer. So yeah, we've been working here all week uh, with, with Pekka and, and Reactify and a couple of composers who've, who've come along. So it's Nick Ryan and Jan Sechnik. My name's Pekka Kuusisto and I am a Finnish musician. At some point in history, people have discovered that when, when two people play together and react to each other <laughs> with their playing, something magical happens. The whole uh, kind of concept of artificial intelligence and and computers gradually become becoming more and more powerful and smart people like the the guys from from Reactify working on these sort of technologies. Everything is de- developing super fast at the moment. It's terribly exciting. My name is Ragnar Hapkilsson. Uh, I'm director of Reactify and I work with music and technology. GoPlay is um, software that we uh, started developing uh, about a year ago. Peter came to us with the idea because he plays with a lot of technology usually, a a laptop and and foot pedals and everything, and and he came to us with the idea of maybe trying to get that all off stage, allowing him to control all of that just from playing the cello. My name's Yuli Leftoff, I'm from Reactify, and I'm a reactive music producer. So last year, when we came here with Peter, we created the system and started playing around with what you could do with actually responding to a live performer as they're playing and adding sorts of effects and samples. This year has been incredible working with great composers, um, more musicians, much bigger setup, and it's been really challenging at times. Um, there's been a lot going on. Working with Reactify is totally different to working with any other musical technologists uh, that I've worked with before um, because they're actually practicing musicians themselves they're not just code monkeys sitting there bashing out the keyboard you know they're very musically sensitive um, you know so we we spend days and days and days (laughs) doing the same note again and again and again but it's so very it's so well integrated into the music um, that it it really feels very natural you know Peck is playing with a floorboard um, to, to change his violin sound, but I'm completely doing it straight through the computer, straight through this software that we actually, that we really developed here at, at Auburn Development Residency uh, last year. So working with Nick Ryan, uh, who's a sound specialist, uh, creating a kind of big sound world of music around a poem by Seamus Heaney uh, called Digging. And so we play and, and musically voice uh, the images found in the poem. Working with Jan Sejnik, who's an American uh, game designer and sort of electronics whiz, um, on a piece that's inspired by African rhythms. So it's it's a lot simpler musically, um, but the software we're using, Go Play, samples little fragments of sound and little bits of music, and creates these really insistent rhythms and very kind of hypnotic, droney things. We have some Finnish traditional music that is being treated by the Reactify guys in a very beautiful way. I'm also working on a, a new piece um, commissioned by Albra by Martin Suckling, a Scottish composer, uh, called Nocturne, which is just for acoustic instruments, uh, violin and cello. But instead of augmenting its sound world through electronics, it's using microtones and, and various sort of instrumental effects to, to create this kind of slightly otherworldly haunting. It's very beautiful but quite scary. I feel like we are possibly we are 
toying with something that is is going to be a part of part of the chamber music and concert experience in the future, like a very very normal essential part of it. So uh, so it's exciting to be developing that.